And we're continuing our Teacher Voices series. We're going to be non Teacher Appreciation Week. We can, can consider it, I don't know, Teacher Appreciation several weeks, maybe, as we carry this on to the, uh, to the end of May. With us today is Laura Agadello. Agadello and, and Laura, you teach at Grassfield High School. What do you teach there? I teach theater at Grassfield. Okay, wow. Talk about I'm teaching something virtually, you know. But before I get to that, uh, how are you managing? How, how's your, your, how's your how, household? Well, we're managing pretty well, I mean, for the situation that we're in. I have a 15-year-old in ninth grade, and she pretty much is doing her own work and not, I, I really don't have to worry about her. We kind of, you know, check in every so often to see what's going on. It's my fourth grader. I am not a fan of fourth grade math. Uh, I will admit that right now. A uh, much different way that they're teaching kids how to do fourth grade math than uh, I remember. Um, a funny story, I taught him how to do the multiplication table and he was like mind blown. Uh, but uh, we're, we're going, you know, we're going through it. We have, uh, I try to get them outside uh, as often as we can and, you know, just so we can, you know, have some kind of, I mean, I don't have like a schedule. Uh, we find that school kind of happens between 10 and 2 for them. And then uh, we do some kind of activity. What's been a lot of fun is like uh, connecting again and like playing board games and doing things like that. So it's been really lovely. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's great. The, um, uh, so now let's talk about, so how do you teach drama virtually? Uh, I am, I'm figuring it out as I go along. Um, it's been really lovely to... I've been doing a lot of professional development for myself, taking classes. Um, there's a great Facebook group for theater teachers that has taught me a lot of information. And uh, this is gonna be my first week that I'm actually going to attempt a, an improv class online with my students. So on Wednesday, send me good luck vibes because uh, my advanced theater students and I are going to attempt a uh, a, an improv class, which I have done a couple, and I'm going to see if I can do it with them. <laughs> but uh, no, a lot of it has been them working on individual projects, uh, expanding on the things that we kind of have gone through um, and doing it independently. And they've been turning in some really lovely, thought-provoking work. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I guess uh, teaching the arts um, in this environment uh, really can be, I mean, you, I imagine you see some really interesting, uh, some really interesting uh, student products. I, I have. Uh, actually, this past week was a, a lighting design uh, challenge. Uh, and one of my students turned in this lovely lighting design. They had to pick some kind of item. Uh, he chose his brother's, his younger brother's action figures. And he gave a whole lighting design story using flashlights with a story uh, attached to it. And it was really lovely to see him using up lighting and down light, you know, and all the things that, you know, we would be doing in class with just some action figures and, and a flashlight. Well, and if you can do it with a flashlight, you probably can do it with professional lighting equipment, right? Absolutely. <laughs> now, Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, students uh, at the age that you have probably don't have a lot of technology issues. I mean, they all have at least have a cell phone, probably. Uh, but Absolutely. what are some of the challenges to, to teaching in this environment? Uh, well, some of the challenges, um, one of the things I miss is, is connecting with them personally. Uh, theater is an art form that you have to, I feel, be one-on-one, -on -one, you know, uh, to be able to feel the audience uh, you know, react to your performance. We've had a couple of assignments where they've turned in monologues and I could tell there were times, you know, if they had done it in class, there could have been a, a laugh or a reaction, a sigh or something that could have added more to their monologue. Not that the monologue was bad, but that it, there was something, you know, that I think that is one of the things I'm missing when it comes to teaching remote, you know, virtually, um, but, you know, we're, we're making do, we're making the best, you know, doing the best that we can with what it is that we have. Now, you said that, um, you pointed out that one of the positive things is that you've done some professional development 
has given you an opportunity to do that. What mm -hmm. other uh, bright spots or whatever positive things you find are coming out of this? Uh, one of the really lovely things that's come out of this, I have really connected with some of the other theater teachers here in Chesapeake. Uh, we have created, uh, Dr. Melissa Goodwin had us come together and we created a, a Google Classroom amongst the seven of us. And we've been uh, collaborating and sharing uh, lesson plan ideas. And um, so that's really been great. Uh, the last couple of years, we have come together once a year uh, to do the uh, theater initiative uh, where all the kids from all the seven high schools have the ability to come in and do theater. And uh, so this has been nice, and I really hope that this bond that we've created continues forward. Yeah, that's great. Well, look, uh, I'm going to let you get back to your busy schedule, and uh, but I appreciate your time. It seems like uh, I mean you're really getting it done out there. And uh, as I told every other teacher, I want you to be sure that you're aware. I did see uh, somebody. I think it was on a national news that somebody said that uh, after this is over with, teachers will never be underappreciated again. Uh, <laughs> Not for a little while now that parents are, are having to do uh, this job of teaching. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, we appreciate all the work that you're doing and all uh, the interest you take in your kids. And uh, we wish you the best. Stay well. Thank you. You, you too.